Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of strangulated umbilical hernia with complications. If I am not wrong, this is our 199th case video. A 55 years old male patient came with abdominal distension, abdominal pain, fever, and painful umbilical irreducible blackish swelling with ulceration. He had given the duration of history as 15 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the liver. You can see two hyperechogenic space occupying lesions, which apparently look like hemangioma, but it may not be. There was ascitic fluid collection, you can see at the infill border. When we put the color Doppler, you can see the peripheral flow and, and there is no abnormal displacement of the blood vessels. But we are not too much satisfied to say it as a hemangioma as we have got other findings in this case. Here you can see the dilated fluid filled small intestinal loop with internal to and fro flow and adjacent peritoneal collection. You can see these valvuli conventories indicating the features of a small intestine. These are the to and fro flow. Not passing distally, rather it is going and getting back. This feature suggests it as a case of small intestinal obstruction. Now what is the cause of a small intestinal obstruction? Why the patient came with an umbilical swelling? We have seen a visible swelling at the umbilicus and we have put a linear transducer over it which shows a herniated content with internal collection with septations. This is the bowel loop surrounded by this collection with internal septations. This is the neck of the herniated bowel which is very narrow. And when we put the color Doppler you can see whirling flow or whirlpool sign flow within this loop which indicates the feature of strangulation. Overall, the herniated bowel loop wall is thickened and you can see the surrounding thick fat stranding. Here is the neck of the hernia from where it came. And surrounding fat stranding is well visualized here. So overall, this feature suggests it as a case of strangulated hernia. Now we have got a history of 15 days duration. Patient was having severe pain while we are touching the herniated structure. So we have searched more within this herniated sac. And here you can see an irregular thick walled complex area with thick sediments within the herniated sac adjacent to the bowel loop that we have seen previously. And on color Doppler you can see only the peripheral flow with no internal flow suggesting it an abscess. Here's the strangulated bowel loop. The wall is thickened and there was no peristalsis. Adjacent fat was thickened also with some septic collection. Here you can see the strangulated bowel loop showing whirlpool sign or whirling feature on Doppler. Here is the neck or orifice of the hernia from where it came which is very narrowed and you can see adjacent fat is trending which is a very common feature of strangulation. Here is the neck diameter which was around 10 mm. Here is the thick world complex area with thick sediments 
Color Doppler shows the peripheral flow, indicating it as an abscess with adjacent inflammatory collection. The overall skin was also thickened due to inflammatory process. So, in summary, at least two hyperechogenic space occupying lesions are noted within the hepatic parenchyma. We don't want to say it as a hepatic hemangioma, which may misguide the clinician. Further investigation will help exclude that. Fluid filled distended small intestinal loops with luminal to and fro flow was seen, suggesting small intestinal obstruction. Huge ascites was seen. About the cause of intestinal obstruction, an irreducible herniated structure was noted at the umbilical region containing a thick walled strangulated bowel loop with thickened fat and septic fluid with a complex thick walled area having thick sediments indicating abscess formation within the herniated sac. Surrounding fat stranding and skin thickening were seen. Color Doppler shows whirlpool or whirling pattern of flow within this obstructed bowel loop suggesting the strangulation. About the complex mass, we have only got peripheral flow with no internal flow suggested as abscess. So overall, this is a case of strangulated umbilical hernia with features of complication as abscess formation within the sac and small intestinal obstruction with ascites with two ecogenic space occupying lesions within the liver. Now the take home message. Thickened hernial sac containing thick walled irreducible aperistaltic bowel, thickened fat and septic fluid with whirlpool sign on Doppler will suggest a hernia as a strangulated one. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.